Hi guys, Alistair Taylor here at Herring's Reach. Today we're going to look at a brand new tailor-made R-series TP wedges. So Dustin Johnson won with these in the bag uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, really interested to hit these. Um, interested, Taylor made a claim that it's going to feel quite soft, even though it's a cast head. So tailor-made R-series wedge, let's have a look. Okay guys, so we're looking at the brand new tailor-made R-series wedge. So it's a darker finish after last year's being silver. Shiny, but a much kind of darker finish than we've seen from tailor-made for a while. Um, it's got the face inserted, but it's kind of milled into the face. So it's not one that's interchangeable like we've seen with the XFTs in the past. But it's a good looking club. Looks lovely behind the ball. So let's hit some shots, see how it performs. Okay, so one thing I really like with these as you set up is I do like the dark finish. I mean, I, my, my wedges are rusty. So I love that darker finish on the wedges. Uh, very, very noticeable when it sits behind the ball, how the insert kind of sits into the face. So when you hit full shots, I mean, again, a lot of the wedges I tend to test tend to be 56, this is. Um, and I'm not really looking for out and out distance with a 56 degree, so I wouldn't expect mind blowing distances with this. And I think hitting those and looking at the numbers on flight scope, that's kind of pretty much within two yards of where my 56 goes. What I do like about this is it definitely feels soft off the face. So it doesn't feel really hard like a lot of the cast wedges do. So certainly on full shots, you know, I like the feel of that. You know, does that transfer when I'm playing my pitch shots? Yeah. Again, that feels, for me it feels like a forged club, but it's cast. So for any of you guys who, when the wedges are in the bag, they knock around and mark up quite badly with forged ones, that's still going to look nice and new. It's only a looks thing, it doesn't make a massive difference for me. But yeah, pitching wise, I think that feels really, really nice. And like I said, I love the look of that behind the ball. I'm not going to get too much at the moment into how much it spins. I might do something further down the line when I've got all the wedges together, where we hit them all. But a big part of that is how you strike it, you know, what type of ball you're playing, and I want everything to be as controlled as I can when I compare spin. But as you'd expect with this wedge, this is brand new. I literally took the plastic off it before I hit these shots. So this is going to spin it as much as it'll ever spin it. But I said, I love the look. I like the feel of that, that's nice. I'm not, you know, any of you guys watch my videos, I'm not a big fan of cast wedges, but I do like that, that's nice. Obviously, lots of different loft options. The key is getting fitted. You know, I've spoken about this in other wedge videos I've done. It's not just a case of picking lofts. If you can, get yourself on a launch monitor and see exactly how far they go with the full shots to make sure your gaps are plugged. But this for me does what a 56 should do. I think a big buying point with wedges is look and feel. So any of you guys that love tailor-made, this will be a dead cert in your bag. Any of you guys that have always been very loyal to other brands with wedges, these are definitely worth a try. I mean, for me, there's some fantastic wedges on the market this year. Um, and TaylorMade have definitely got one of those fantastic wedges on the market. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, give it a thumbs up, like it. Leave any comments below for me. Um, if you want to give me a call at Herring's Reach, 01253 832 505. Visit my website on www.alitaylorgolf.com. Subscribe to my channel up there. Do appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. So this has been the TaylorMade R-Series Wedge. Hopefully see some of you down here in the future. Stay in contact.